Okay, I'm gonna do two things really quickly with this video that pertain to entropy. One thing I wanna do is explain why the concept of entropy is so hard for many people to understand. In fact, nobody understands it. The second thing I'm gonna do is explain how the arrow of time and entropy are related. Why does entropy cause the arrow of time? And these two answers are actually closely connected. So I'll start with why is entropy so hard to understand? The reason it's hard to under, uh, the reason entropy is hard to understand is because entropy is not really a single concept. It started out as a single concept when it was originally invented hundreds of years ago. Uh, it was Carnot and Clausius. And the back when the original rules of thermodynamics were first formulated, it was just the idea that a hot object or hot bodies will lose energy to cool bodies, but never the other way around. So a cool object's not going to suddenly get cooler spontaneously, and a hot object won't spontaneously get hotter by by sort of sucking the heat away from a cool object. And that was really. The, the only idea behind the second law of thermodynamics. That was, the, that was the original idea of entropy increasing over time, meaning simply that a hot object would cool over time and a cool object in, an, in a hot environment would warm over time. That's it. That, that was the idea of entropy increasing over time and that's what creates an asymmetry of time the arrow of time. The principle behind this is simply black body radiation because we know that the hotter an object is, the more it radiates electromagnetic radiation, the more heat it loses. So if we understand how black body radiation works, then we understand the second law because it's very obvious. It's just a simple consequence of geometry and the fact that waves start small and they expand. In sort of like a sphere over time, a growing sphere. As the amplitude spreads out over a larger area, it weakens. And as that happens, the energy spreads around. So energy starts out in a small space, small hot object, and then the energy spreads out through electromagnetic radiation. That is the answer. That is why we have the second law of thermodynamics that's why entropy increases, and that's why the future, going forwards into the future, looks different from going backwards. Unfortunately, oh, ever since there's Boltzmann, there's uh, Claude Shannon, uh, and other people, Beckenstein, they've all made adjustments to the definition of entropy. They've all changed the concept. So we don't have one concept now. We have more than three. So it's also possible to confuse these concepts uh, and to use them interchangeably. As a result, people get very confused about what entropy is. I go through the history in my book in detail. I don't really need to do that right now. I just wanted to get this out. It's a simple idea. There is no entropy. There's lots of entropies. It's a family of concepts. Only the original entropy thermodynamic entropy, the idea that hot objects cool, cool objects warm up over time, that's the only really clear concept of entropy. The rest involve other concepts like information, um, probability, um, randomness. Once we get these other ideas involved, we've completely changed the concept. And I'd say they're extraneous. They don't really explain the second law of thermodynamics. And in fact, once we start talking about information and probability, we're no longer really talking about thermodynamics. We're talking about something much more abstract. Um, I would like for this video to be the start of a discussion, though. So if you agree with what I'm saying, please let me know. And if you disagree for any reason, if you want to object to anything I've said, please let me know. Thank you.